Ms. Sim N, Senior Parliamentary Secretary, Ministry of Education and Ministry of Communications and Information. Ms. Chan Lai Fang, Permanent Secretary, Education, Ministry of Education and Chapelson, NIE Council. Mr. Wong Siu Hung, Deputy Director General of Education Curriculum, Ministry of Education. Ms. Lo Ka Gik, Deputy Director General of Education Schools, come Director of Schools, Ministry of Education. Professor Lee Sing Kong, Director, NIE. Distinguished guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to all of you. I feel very honoured to represent our PGDE primary cohort in thanking all of you, family, friends and loved ones, for making time to be present today and grace this joyous milestone with us. Thank you all for clapping enthusiastically for every graduate who walked on stage who has embarked on this journey of becoming a teacher. To our graduate teachers, congratulations on surviving the tick-off of our flight into teaching. I don't know about you, but my one year in NIE flew past with ups and downs, sometimes aging on moments of turbulence. I relish the brief moment as a student again, and I'm thankful for having shared this wonderful journey with 17 others in the PGDE Primary Music Program. Today, I would like to take this opportunity to share with you five key lessons I have learned from amazing people I have met in this past year. And I hope that these lessons would carry us through to soar well in the journey ahead of us. First, love learning. Growing up through different life experiences, I have unconsciously formulated fixed answers or sets of SOPs on how things should be, and that includes how a typical lesson should look like. I'm thankful to my professors and teachers for opening up my mind to so many new possibilities and challenged me in my narrow way of thinking. One person that comes to mind who has an immense appetite for new ideas is my fellow course mate, Alice Wee. I remember how she shared an interesting lesson during peer teaching using ICT to play the MIDI file of a song she had composed for a song game activity, incorporating interesting props such as soft toys for a storyline, and involving us pseudo-students to come up with actions to accompany the song. Using new music software was not the easiest for us to learn and pick up, but she was one of the foremost in jumping on the technology wagon and she used it for her music lessons with much fun and success. From Alice, I have learned the importance of unlearning my old ways to embrace new possibilities in order to improve in my teaching for the benefit of the students. Second, remember to enjoy yourself and have fun. I recall when I was a student, I could sense if my teacher was in a good mood or otherwise and whether he or she enjoyed the subject that was being taught. When we enjoy the lesson, our students will enjoy it too. Fun and passion is contagious. When the stress of marking, running classroom marathons, juggling administrative duties, and balancing different hats weigh upon us, may we always find something to smile at, to find joy in what we do, and to remember our purpose of impacting a child's life. Haim Jinot puts it so well, it is my personal approach that creates the climate. As a teacher, I possess tremendous power to make a child's life miserable or joyous. Third, allocate wisely. As teachers, we play different roles at different times. A teacher, a wife or husband, a mother or father, friend, counsellor, disciplinarian, event planner, and the list goes on. At this point, please allow me to introduce a dear friend and colleague, Chin Ling. Chin Ling is a mother of two, and she is one of the most passionate teachers I have met. In my time spent with her, I have seen how she has been a listening ear to students, how she sacrificed extra time for the weaker students who needed personal attention in their work, how she was firm with the students who misbehaved, and how she managed between work and family commitments. Thank you, Chin Ling, and many others who have modelled love, sacrifice, adaptability, and resilience in balancing multiple roles and allocating wisely. 
Next, reflect, reflect, and reflect. It is interesting how Practicum has taught us to write lesson plans and honed our skill of reflection. I am positive that most of us are more reflective than we ever were before. I remember occasionally reflecting aloud or groaning and confiding my woes to my practical mates and colleagues. Thank you for sharing tested waters, good and bad teaching practices you have tried, for exploring classroom management strategies together, reflecting by myself, reflecting with my CTs, and sharing my reflection with my colleagues and peers have benefited me tremendously. Finally, I would like to share with you that you are never alone. An old proverb says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labour. I am thankful to be part of a group of generous friends who shared their resources to help one another, making our journey less lonely and daunting. Through this, I have experienced the power of sharing and collaboration. In learning from one another, good ideas become great. In the wise words of Mother Teresa, you can do what I cannot do. I can do what you cannot do. Together, we can do great things. Today marks the end of our takeoff and the beginning of our flight into teaching. Well done, graduate teachers. The five lessons love learning, enjoy, allocate wisely, reflect, and never alone spell the word learn. As we embark on this flight of teaching, may we always be on the alert, ready to adapt, to help one another and our students, to pass on the love of learning, and to soar high into uncharted places. Thank you all for your kind attention. I would like to take this opportunity to thank God, Dad and Mum, my family and friends, my wonderful music course mates, colleagues in my school, and all who have journeyed with me. May we always adopt the posture of a learner in order to become a better teacher. All the best beginning teachers and God bless all of you.